Earlier this morning, um, you heard from our board chair, Jackie Bromberg. In addition to serving on the District 203 Board of Education, she also serves on the Community Advisory Committee at Loads and Fishes Community Services. Last year, we began discussions with this nonprofit organization to explore a dynamic partnership that would truly engage youth in the mission of Loaves and Fishes to provide food and leadership in the community by uniting and mobilizing resources to empower people to be self-sufficient. What transpired was an internship opportunity that empowered one of our high school students to make contributions to the organization while shaping important decisions for his own future towards self-sufficiency. To celebrate the importance of transformative engagement through internship, we honor Loaves and Fishes, and we invite their Director of Volunteer Services, Shelly Schmitz, and her intern, our Naperville North senior, Morale Francis, to share their story. Good morning, everyone. At Loaves and Fishes, our model is based on volunteering, on uh, the support of our community. So it's my pleasure to work with volunteers. I'm inspired by them every day. But they're usually adults, and they usually come to us with um, their expectations of how the job should be done, you know, different activities. And, um, and usually that is, evolves into a beautiful partnership of their expectations and our needs. Um, but when you work with a teenager, they're so adaptable and flexible and enthusiastic, and they bring us ideas. They help us, the creators of these volunteer opportunities and activities, they bring to us different and better ways of doing them. So many businesses shy away from working with those unpredictable teenagers that, you know, will they be there on time? Will they be engaged? Will they be focused? What are they going to say about my business when they're outside of my environment? I will tell you, we have um, a lot of teenagers that come through Loves and Fishes. So many would like to play a greater role, but because of school, sports, homework, um, they have just a, a little time to be with us through the school year. But our experiences have been almost 100% of the time really, really positive. So when Morel was introduced to me, I thought, great, another wonderful teenager. I'm looking forward to this. This is exciting. He has been so outstanding. This is a model of uh, success. You know, I, I could already write you his life story and his resume up, 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 up. Um, a lot of it is fueled not only by his uh, wonderful personality and enthusiasm, but um, just that energy that he brings, that openness to everything we threw at him. We put him in places that would make many of you a little uneasy. He was in a professional interview for someone my age looking for a professional opportunity with us. We brought Morel into that. We wanted to know what his observations were. Um, our community advisory council, he sat in on that meeting to learn about what's our outreach, what's our future, what kind of growth are we looking for. We asked him what did he think about these occasions. Um, I'm not going to steal all of Morel's thunder. I want him to talk to you about how he felt uh, during his six weeks with us. But I encourage all of you, it, it's, they bring a, a new perspective, a new flexibility. It's, uh, it's a positive experience. I heartily encourage each of you. Would you share with us some of the highs and if there are some lows uh, during your volunteer? <laughs> Uh, hi everybody, uh, my name is Morel Francis, I'm currently a senior at Naperville North and I'm just here to talk to you briefly about my uh, internship at Loves and Fishes. Can you hear him? Oh yes, do you need that? Everyone get it? So uh, I spent my first week just volunteering around the Loves and Fishes Center. I spent a lot of time working with other volunteers, helping them sort like different types of foods like meats, vegetables, and other items. And I got a chance to interact like one-on-one -on -one with the clients who serve. Uh, during my second week, I worked in the distribution center. Uh, I was mainly responsible for taking inventory of donated items, and I even got a ride in like a semi truck for the first time, so that was really cool. <laughs> so I got to visit uh, different donor stores in the area to pick up donated food. 
Uh, next, I transitioned into working in executive management. I got a chance to overview the Loaves and Fishes financial statement for the 2014-2015 year, so that was a great opportunity. And as uh, Shelly said, I was called in to witness a professional interview uh, by a potential employee, and they asked me to give my opinion afterwards, so that was nice. Uh, after that, I worked in community communications. I was mainly responsible with just coming up with new ideas on how Loaves and Fishes could use social media to attract younger volunteers. And I also worked with the staff at Loaves and Fishes on thinking of ways on how they could use their position in the community now to expand their services into other areas. Uh, during my final two weeks, I worked with the Director of Wellness and Empowerment. I worked with the director on just coming up on new programs Loaves and Fishes could use to better help its clients. So I know the organic cooking course, that was a very popular course, so the director and I came up with that course together. And uh, I also was called in to help bring in a guest lecturer to COE to talk about the detrimental effects of food scarcity on youth development. Um, I can't thank the staff at Loaves and Fishes enough for giving me the opportunity to intern there. I know, you know, it might have been, I was 17 at the time, so they didn't exactly know what they were getting because I'd never been there before, but they trusted me and I think I performed to their expectations and I can't think of them. Uh, so just real briefly, um, Ms. Carlson just asked me to say how my experience there shaped my for, like, future college decisions. So for all the schools I applied to, I applied to the business program, but I wasn't sure like exactly what I wanted to do. But after working with Megan and Shelley and the uh, executive team at Loaves and Fishes, I've decided on business management because it's very broad and you get to be involved in all different aspects of the business, and I really like that. I don't like being just focused in on one thing. I'm more of like a big picture kind of person, so I wouldn't have really found that out. And so I wouldn't have found that out unless. Like, Yeah. <laughs>